No, my tongue went numb. My throat started closing up. I thought I was dying. <gasps> oh my god! Wow. Oh. Yeah. And then Yay, you, you can't do stand. It. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone you should can't go. Can't stand. <laughs> no. What? I stood up and I was like, oh, I go to the ground. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. We like your shirt. Thank you very much. I'm on. Very on brand. Yes. Oh, yeah. Posters in the back and everything. <laughs> Try my, no, I'm a, I'm like a huge Spider-Man geek. It's like it's embarrassing. So. <laughs> yeah, is that Doc Ock poster in the back? Is that? Is it that? is. That's a No Way Home uh, poster oh, nice. that I took from my local multiplex without them knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> now you just told them. I love that. I'm obsessed yeah. with that. I'm gonna get a Madam Web one for right here. So. Aww. Awesome. Maybe Sony will send me one, so I don't have to put myself <laughs> yeah, in danger. <laughs> Um, Sydney, if a couple is going out for Valentine's Day and they are arguing over Madam Web uh, or anyone but you, how are you breaking that tie? Uh, I think you should have a double feature. I think so. All right. So which one do they see first? Ooh. Ooh. Madam Web first. Okay. Have like a good okay. ground experience. Watch some people bond, figure out who they are and unlock their potential powers. Then go laugh, cry and dance on your way out. I love yeah. it. That works out. Um, Celeste. Everybody who gets cast in a superhero movie gets to praise their costumes and talk about how triumphant it makes them feel. Tell me the least favorite thing about wearing a superhero costume. <laughs> the least favorite thing? That's so funny. Don't have to pee. Do not have to pee in that costume because it's going to take a team and at least 10 minutes to figure that out. But honestly, I loved I loved wearing the superhero costumes and I love meeting the people who put them together. They're amazing and so talented. Like the level of artistry that goes into these suits is like unmatched. What a dream come true to be able to not only wear something like that, but to work on it as well too. You're creating this iconic, you know, costume for all three of you to wear at this point. Um, Isabel, I want to know, you've been able to play very recognizable characters, beloved characters uh, over the years uh, in recognizable franchises, but I want to know how you managed to honor the source material while also keeping the freedom to do your own thing. I think I'm honestly, the whole do your own thing part comes naturally, right? So you do as much research as you can. Like for The Last of Us, I played the second game in one weekend. I That's why I don't have a PS5 in my house because I wouldn't stop if I had one. So right. I had to go to my friend's house, played that. Like for this, I read the comics. I already knew, I already seen all the Spider-Man movies. Like I love Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire is like my favorite one, I think. But um, yeah, so that was kind of, that was, that was, the research happens, you have to have that happen artificially and then personally, you just naturally kind of give it you in a way without trying. I will let you guys know that today's a day off for me. I have a, a paid day off, but I, I did this junket anyway because I really wanted to. But oh. all morning, since I had nothing else to really do, um, I played on my son's PlayStation 5 because he's got the Miles Morales game. And yes. I, I played for like three hours. Sweet. And I was like, I got to stop because I have to start prepping questions. <laughs> are, you, are you playing Spider-Man 2? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Oh my God. It's nice. outstanding. It's so amazing. So okay, before good. they boot me out of here, uh, Sydney, you recently survived the Hot Ones uh, challenge. Why is this happening? What is in this? I, it's standing <laughs> up. Who from this cast would you like to see uh, take on that challenge next? Ooh. I mean, I feel like both of you would destroy. I would embarrass myself for sure. That's no. That's I don't think so. No, I don't You're think so. so. Put yeah, no, you got okay. that. Maybe. <laughs> it's not as spicy as you think. Okay, I got this. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to taste the spice. <laughs> oh my God. At least not, I was, yeah, you I was, well. you I was really so well. shocked. You did really well. But it's all in my eyes. If you closely watch my eyes, they slowly start to like, get red as the sauces get hotter and hotter that, and hotter. Oh, okay. I didn't even know yes. that happened. <laughs> yes, you see you see it in the eyes. For me, it's snot. That's why I'm gonna embarrass myself. Like, I immediately start snotting whenever there's something spicy in my mouth. No, my tongue went numb. My throat started closing up. I thought <gasps> I was dying. Wow. Oh. Yeah. And then Yay, you, you can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone you should can't go. stand. <laughs> no. What? I stood up and I was like, oh, I go to the ground. <laughs> Isabella, they could change mm -hmm. the name to Snot Once. Yeah, I'm oh, a I like that. Snot guy. Yeah. Snot I like Every that. time I cry in a movie, you're going to see a snot. Yeah. There ain't no time on. Hey, Ms. Johnson, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? 
I'm great. I want to start with a practical nerdy question, but the shot of the ambulance getting into a crash over your shoulder is one of my favorite ones in the movie. I want to know, is that practical? Did you actually do that? Did you have to like perfectly time and execute that? Yeah, we did. It was very that's, cool. That's unbelievable. Did you get to do it just once? Um, I think we did it once. Maybe wow. we Maybe we had two times to do it. I don't really remember, honestly. Yeah, it but gets I pretty remember expensive. it was fun. Being an old school Spider-Man nerd like I am, the Madam Web that I know and grew up on is an old lady in a leotard. Um, <laughs> and clearly this is 2003, but would you? how would you feel about eventually playing that version of the character? I am excited about it. I, I would love to be able to have that kind of an arc. I think it would be cool to see a superhero grow old. <laughs> Um, in 2003, you were a teenager, uh, right around the same age I was. We were burning off, you know, mixtapes and playlists and things yeah. like that. Which artist would have dominated your playlists in 2003? Who would have had to be on there? I was a big Radiohead, Nirvana, uh, Blur. Okay, okay. The Cranberries. Okay, sure, perfect. Did yeah. you go through a flannel stage? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Those big I had two older brothers, so they were, they were really, uh, they influenced my musical taste. Pretty, they, they passed down strongly. tapes to you. Yeah, but I also like loved Britney and the Spice Girls and all that as well. Whenever somebody gets cast in a superhero uh, film, they rave about the costume and how triumphant it makes them feel. Uh, tell me your least favorite thing about wearing the costume. Oh, my least favorite thing about <laughs> wearing it. <laughs> Good question. Uh, uh, it was to take it off. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I felt good in it. You know, powerful. It makes you believe in everything you do. You you start to think that, yeah, maybe I'm a super, I'm a real superman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Was it fun to sort of, because Spider-Man has this iconic look uh, and your design sort of mirrors that, but you get to sort of corrupt the iconography. You know, you get to sort of play him in a, from a villainous standpoint. Was it fun to sort of dabble in that evil side of it? You know, it was, uh, it was good to be able to portray Ezekiel as I, as I uh, you know, felt it in the comic book. You know, I tried to put in uh, as much of him from the comic book as I could. Because when I when I did my homework, I didn't know anything about, you know, Madam Web and uh, Ezekiel. So when I did my homework, you know, I uh, I was uh, happy and uh, blessed to just you know to know that I would explore such a character. Yeah. yeah. To heart, when a movie is set in 2003 like this, it lets you have some fun with the soundtrack. Oh yeah. Uh, you know. What artist would have dominated your playlist back in 2003? Back in 2003. Michael was still around. Yeah. Yeah, so man. <laughs> Michael was still around. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have his dance moves? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> the moonwalk, all of it, you know. <laughs> if I had enough room here, I would, you know, show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the problem of being on Zoom. I know. Got <laughs> See, a dance floor. We're framed. <laughs> it's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. <laughs>